By removing something, you will improve something. Five years ago, I stopped cursing. A year and a half ago, I stopped watching news. A year ago, I deleted the Facebook app from my phone because I caught myself scrolling instead of spending family. Eight months ago, I removed toxic friends from me. Just six months ago, I removed and stopped watching the weather. By removing a bad habit or something that may be holding back, it'll improve something in other areas of your life. Think about if you remove something every few months or every six months, where you'll be a couple years from. And that's exactly what I want, is remove a bad habit and improve it with something better. Bad habits hold us back. How can we prove in life if we have things holding us back, restricting us to improve? I want to be better. You want to be better. Let's motivate. Let's get excited. Let's change. Let's support the people around us. Let's be better leaders. Let's grow. Let's look back in a year from now and see how amazing the last 12 months have been. How can we build better relationships? How can we be better leaders for our family? How can we show our customers that we're a leader and that we will do whatever it takes? How can we stand out, be different, and become the authority? That's what I want to do together, is remove the bad things in our life that may be holding us back and work together on improving. It's not a New Year's resolution. It's a change for the better. This year, I'll be removing, opening my email first thing. Why? Because when you open your email and first wake up, you're bound to be either excited or put down. Emails can either make or break your day. And that's one thing I'm going to work on for the next six months is not checking my email first thing or another habit I'm going to change is to stop drinking Diet Coke. Yeah, it might not sound like that big of a bad habit, but it's ruining and messing up health. I also need to consider the future, how it will affect my health in the future. Now, as an entrepreneur, you know being healthy motivates you. Working out helps it so you don't crash mid-afternoon. Improving your lifestyle keeps you motivated, keeps you out there becoming the leader, keeps you being the one that is making change. So it's your time to make a change. This is your year to make a difference. If you really want to stand out, be different, be the authority in your industry, in your family, in relationships, start today. There's no better day than today. So what are you waiting for? Write down a few things that you can change over the next few years. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be something that you can just do right away. You're going to fail. But find somebody that maybe can support you. Maybe your spouse, your kids, your friend, co-workers. Somebody that can keep an eye on you, check in on you and say, hey, are you following through with stopping that bad habit? And then once you stop that bad habit and you're so confident that you control that, replace it with something powerful, something that can truly change your life and your whether it be working out more, getting healthy, supporting your family, building up your spouse, spending more time with your kids, being the leader in your city, or just showing your customers in your business that you are a person that they can trust. There's so many things you can replace bad habits with. Now's your time. Let's look back in 12 months from now, give each other a high five. Thank you for watching this video. Let's go.